weird, gross, and beautiful. A casual discussion about the animals that I think are weird, gross, beautiful, or all three, and you know, that's a penguin. So, fact number one, penguins are adorable. Mm, I want a penguin. Who doesn't want a penguin? Nobody, that's who. Emperor penguins can stay underwater for about 20 minutes at a time, and that's, 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 that's a good amount of time. You know, for being a bird. Obviously, we all know that they can't fly and that they swim instead, and they kind of just waddle around on land like little freaks. Little adorable freaks! They usually swim at around four to seven miles an hour, but if they want to, they can get up to like 22 miles per hour. And when they're trying to escape from predators, they come out of the water to be like, would you, would you, would you, because they can travel through air faster than they can in the water. Their adorable little tuxedos that they like to wear are for camouflage. From the top, uh, when they're swimming in the water, they are it's hard to see because it's black and like the water is no, what is that? Don't know. Don't know what that is. Gonna keep going. Probably nothing. And from underneath, uh, the it looks like the sun is like being reflected from the water. It's white, so it just doesn't doesn't look like anything. So why do they have those? It's not to be adorable, but also it's to be adorable. They're so dapper. And the penguins in Antarctica have no land-based predators. <laughs> Killer whales are like, bitch. You think you look like me? You're not even me. I know, because I'm way bigger than you. And then they go numb. That's the circle of life, people. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Contrary to what most Christmas specials would have you believe, there are zero penguins in the North Pole. Zero. Absolutely none of them. There are no penguins helping out Santa. Geographically speaking, penguins live south of the equator. Except for the ones that live in the Galapagos Islands, they like are right close to the equator. So sometimes they're just like, if this is the equator, they're like, they're all like, oh, hey, how's it going? We're just hanging out for a quick second. Okay, bye, we're gonna go back now. Now we're back in the south of the equator. Penguins have a seafood diet. We know that, right? Yeah, fish, squid, crabs, krill, so they do drink a lot of salt water, but they do have a way to remove it. It's called the supraorbital gland, and it's located right above their eye, and it's like a way to filter the salt through the bloodstream, and then it gets excreted through their nose by sneezing. The adorable little penguin sneeze. Achoo! Achoo! Hunk. <laughs> I don't know. How does the penguin go? What does the penguin say? <laughs> no? Outdated yet? Probably. <laughs> So, largest penguin, emperor penguin. We knew that, who cares? No one. The littlest penguin is called the fairy penguin. Ha! Ah, it's so cute. It's also called the little blue penguin. It's called a little blue penguin or a fairy penguin. They stand at 10 inches tall. I don't know what more you could ask for in a creature. Of the 17 different species of penguin on Earth, 13 of them are either considered endangered or threatened, and that is very sad. Why are they threatened or endangered? Man! <laughs> yes, man! The most horrible thing to ever come to this planet is everything up, and we need to do something about it. Humans suck the end. <laughs> nah. Humans are I, right, I guess. <laughs> but pollution, human encroachment to their habitats, fishing, climate change, also our fault. <laughs> Male emperor penguins sit on the eggs. We all know that, right? Yeah, cool. They have to sit on the eggs for two months and during that two months, they can't eat, they can't move, they can't do anything. They're just like the, Atlantic is like, hey, guess what? It's real cold, sucks for you, daddy emperor penguin. Daddy emperor penguin be like, yup. Gotta do what I gotta do for my family. The missus is out being the breadwinner, or the krill winner, as the case may be. <laughs> and, and then mama comes back and she regurgitates the food. And I think before the mama gets back, if the chick hatches, then the dad like gives it milk through its esophagus. Thank you so much for watching We're Gross and Beautiful. My name is Katie Wayne, and if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter, at Katie Wayne, and ask me what animal you would like me to cover. This week's animal was suggested by Franco, so 
There you go, kiddo. Love you so much. Mwah. If you would like to, you can watch these videos over here and even this one, which is like all nostalgic and stuff because it's the first animalist video I ever did by my lonesome. And please subscribe because I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.